So born in a middle class Indian family, I'm truly blessed to have parents who always encouraged me to dream and to dream big. As a kid, I always loved playing the teacher-student role play, of course, me being the teacher. As a seventh grader, I loved explaining concepts to a sixth grader. And at college, my friends often appreciated my teaching skills during group studies. So basically, I have always been very passionate about teaching. And with my own personal experiences, I very strongly believed that a good teacher has the ability to transform lives. As a student, I have always been very inclined towards academics. After completing my college, I got placed into an IT company and I started working as a quality analyst. But deep down, I still wanted to teach and reach out to the masses. A couple of things that I encountered around myself back in 2011 that triggered me to start teaching on YouTube. Number one. Good quality education is expensive and not affordable to a large percentage of population in India. Number two, access to quality education is limited to remote and rural parts of the country. Number three, which is last but definitely not the least, a lot of children mug up concepts just to clear exams. Rather, they study for the fear of exams. In fact, that's the reason when I started teaching on YouTube, I named my YouTube channel as exam fear videos because I personally didn't want children to study for the fear of exams. So to address all of these problems, I started teaching on YouTube. And with YouTube, I was able to reach places with internet penetration. And the children were able to access content, good quality content, absolutely free of cost. As a creator myself, I'm somebody who just loves to teach across grades. Be it a nursery rhyme for a three-year-old or a concept of mathematics, physics, biology, or chemistry for high schoolers. My focus has always been on how to make the content engaging with visuals, real life examples, simple science experiments or simple science projects with things at home, funny relatable mnemonics to remember difficult formulae, or even making a song to remember the elements of the periodic table. The whole idea has always been to make learning engaging and fun for children. And yes, it worked. A lot of students, teachers, and parents across the country started writing to us how much they loved our content. I still remember during the first few weeks of our channel, uh, a student once wrote to us, <coughs> what you could explain in 10 minutes, my teacher could not do in a week. And a comment like that actually made me feel that something that I was doing out of my passion was actually benefiting somebody on the other side. Another student named Debobroto Roy from Assam, who was suffering from a critical ailment and has not been able to attend school for months, could also clear his board exams with more than 85% of marks with the help of our content. A lot of teachers write to us that how they use our content to make teaching more effective in classrooms. A huge number of NGOs use our content to teach the underprivileged children. What else could have made me happier? We were able to create content and we were able to make quality education accessible to many children. 2016, we were even recognized by the Honorable President of India for our work of providing free quality education to the children of India. 2018, a more challenging phase of my journey began. As the only content creator of the channel, as I went through my maternity and other personal obstacles, I could not really produce so much of content. Meanwhile, during the same time, the internet penetration across the country improved, and we saw a massive increase in the number of YouTube channels, as in the competition increased as well. So I actually saw the graph of my channel going up from 2011 to 2017, and also saw it going down 2017 onwards. Yes, felt disheartened, discouraged, 
disappointed but was determined to be back with a bang. 2019 took a pause, thought what could be improved and how. The prime focus this time was content. So I was all set to take the content to the next level, overall to take the channel to the next level. Started working on all kinds of issues, right from audio quality to the production quality. And yes, it worked again this time. Rebranded completely from exam fear to Learner Hub. After all, the main focus of our work was learning and definitely not fear. 2020, I saw the channel started picking up once again. Then came the pandemic when the children were forced to study online and obviously I saw the graph rising up and up again. During this phase, I extensively used a couple of YouTube features to connect with my audience better. Number one was the community tab, which I primarily used to have a better connect with the audience so that they could share their feedback on the content that I upload and I could get their response or I could let them know about my plans for the future upload. And number two was YouTube Shorts. So I received a very amazing response from my audience on the shorts that I uploaded. So I basically started creating uh, fun science facts and science experiments in the form of videos of less than a minute. And I was so amazed with the kind of uh, response that I received from my audience that I created a new channel altogether only for shorts, that is Learn Hub Facts. So as you can see here on this, with this short video, it shows that how important oxygen is for the process of burning or combustion. So in my journey of providing free education, I not only reinvented the way I created my content, I also reinvented the way children across the country learn. One thing that I never forgot during this journey was why I started. I started creating because I wanted to make quality education accessible to all. I very strongly believe that if we are determined to make our dreams come true, no matter what, we will definitely make it happen. Thank you so much.